Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to create what are called bank rules uh, for your bank transactions within Cashflow. Um, what these are, are effectively you programming the software or teaching the software to look out for certain transactions that appear on your bank statement and once it finds them you can tell it how to deal with that transaction. Um, so a good example of this might be some of the yellow highlighted items that we've got here on this dummy bank statement. Um, for example, the Vodafone transaction that uh, came out of the bank on the 18th of January 2019. What we can do is we can tell Cashflow to look for the, the word Vodafone uh, as a payment on your bank statement. And when it finds it, we can tell it to post it to the telephone nominal and claim 20% VAT. Um, and this can be done for any type of transaction. Um, basically, the trick of it uh, is just to keep the reference, the, the search term that you're programming, as unique and as short as possible. Um, so for Vodafone, for example, the whole word Vodafone would be fine. Um, it's unlikely that any other transactions that say Vodafone in them wouldn't be anything to do with telephone. Um, but more generic words such as uh, instant access, for example, that might be... That could be anything that could be a transfer between another savings account or your own personal savings account um, so you might want to think a little bit more about those ones but certainly for the highlighted items here there's no reason why we can't set up a rule for them so uh, i'm just going to jump on to cash flow now um, and i'm going to go to the bank section uh, i'll just go back to dashboard just to show you how we get there uh, so bank section down here and then we go to import and you'll see a little tab up here called matching rules and in here we can create as many matching rules as uh, as you'd like um, there's one in by default called auto assign uh, i'll get that onto that in another video um, but for now we're just going to create a matching rule so if i click create at the top right uh, the next window that pops up is basically a walkthrough of the kind of things that cashflow need to know about this rule before it can create it and use it so if we just walk through it top to bottom um, first of all when I have, in this example, we're going to say money coming out of the bank account with the word Vodafone as the reference or the detail, then I'd like to just create a transaction that goes straight to telephone and I would like to claim 20% VAT on that. Um, and here we just have a rule name. So I like to set them up uh, saying the search term that I'm looking for. So Vodafone goes to telephone claiming 20% of that and the enable rule is already ticked so if I click save on that process now that will now appear in your list of created rules which there are only two in this example um, what I'll do is I'll go and create a second rule uh, just to run through the process again to give you an indication of how this works so create every time I see money going out with the word rent in the description please create a transaction that is posted to rent and claim 20% VAT on that. So let's just give this rule a name. So every time I see rent, post it to 22700, rent with 20% VAT. And the reason I like to set this out like this uh, is just because when you get used to using bank rules, you'll you'll start creating quite a lot of them um, and the list will get longer and longer and the rule name really does allow you to see exactly what that rule is rather than drilling down into it to locate what the rule uh, is actually doing so if i go back to the bank account up here now just we've got a couple of rules under our belt and go to import and um, i've already imported a bank statement earlier in a, one of our earlier videos so i'm just going to restore that those, that data um, and if we scroll down, we can see that all these items that say match on them need to be uh, programmed, need to be sent somewhere in the accounts. Um, but further down, we'll see that Cashflow has actually identified that this transaction has got the word rent in it. And so what it's done is it's applied the bank rule and posted it to rent with the 20% VAT on it. Same with the Vodafone transaction. It's managed to find a payment going out with the word Vodafone and that has been now posted to Telephone with 20% VAT on it. All we'd have to do now is just click on the import button and those transactions are dealt with. And it's not just a one off. These rules apply every single time these, uh, these transactions appear on your bank statement. 
So well worth the time setting up as many as you possibly can, because the next time rent comes out, the next time Vodafone comes out the bank, cash flow will just deal with it in a consistent way, leaving you to, uh, to move on to more important things. So I hope that's helped. Thanks for watching.